Welcome back people. So today we're working again on the M365 Pro. So I've done the speed hack on this and on the M365 Pro 2. It will also work on the 9bot and many other scooters. So you can check those videos out on the channel if you're interested. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like as well. And uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, we also have memberships. Link in the description below. So today, bearings. The bottom bearings in this scooter has come to its end. And I'm not surprised because I did change the whole entire pole. The pole is good though. And um, yeah, I changed all of this, all the pole, changed all the tires and uh, gave it a good fix up because it was destroyed. I did make a video of that as well. So you could always check that out. I did it speed it up, but I also did another video of changing this pole um, at normal speed as well. So you could check either one of those out. But today the bearings. So the reason how I know the bearing see the wobble and that has nothing to do with the head stem that's to do with the bearing i can just tell it's to do with the bearing i don't know if there's a bearing missing or maybe the ring has snapped um broken bent maybe possibly um but yeah i'm gonna take a guess either it's snapped or a bearing's popped out so let's open it up and we'll fold the scooter down and we'll get into it Ended up uh, <laughs> stopping the recording, I hit the wrong button. Anyway, 5mm Allen key is what we need. We need to undo this side bolt and this side bolt. So let's start off by doing that. There we go. Sometimes you get a little click noise. So I've got the scooter on charge as well, because um, it needs the scooter charged. You actually don't know. This is my brother's scooter. <coughs> I don't think he actually knows that the bearings broke because he doesn't know too much about repairs and stuff. So I'm just kind of going to do it as a surprise and then show him the video after of me doing it. So the easiest way to do this, or the easy possible way to do this, is to line everything up. Whatever you take off, put back in that order. And then that way you can't really go wrong with it. So we're taking out that centre bolt there. As you can see, <clears throat> the amount of times I've had this scooter in, in pieces is kind of unreal. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot, but um, sometimes you have to, sometimes you've got to do these things. There we go. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. So now we need to undo this little nut just here. Which I'm guessing that's going to be about a three mil, smaller. Okay. Hopefully, I've got the right Allen key here. I don't think I've brought the right Allen key with me. Nope. Okay, there's an Allen key up there. Let's try this one. There you go. That's the one. So that screw comes out. I'm sure those bearings are snapped or there's one missing. I'm sure of it. Well, there could even be more than one missing possibly. Okay, so we take that screw out. So I'm gonna be placing everything down in order. First starting off with the head stem bolt, and then that one next to it. And then we got this piece, which that's next to it. So I'm just putting them all in a line. I will show you that after. And then I'm taking this piece off. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I don't know all the names to them, so I can't really tell you, but then this part, which is a little piece of plastic. Then the next part, which is that. I also forgot to bring grease with me, so I am gonna have to stop the video at some point. Okay, so those top bearings look okay. So I'm just gonna lift up. Oh, there you go. Then put it down. So the bottom bearings are all messed up. Another bearing just fell out just then. Another ball. Okay, so there's one, two, three, and I've got one in my hand. So there was two missing. So, uh, yeah, 
I'm going to get the new set of bearings, grab my grease, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my new bearings, I've got my grease, just standard grease. I'm absolutely smothered it in grease, as you can see there. Just put it all over. And then here, this is what I'm using, just a multi-purpose grease. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then this, I'm going to sit back onto the head stem. Just drop it down just like that. Pick it up. Drop that back down inside. There we go. Just like that. So pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. Didn't take very long to do that at all, as you saw. And then let's put the grease away now. I think I'm going to need... I think I'm going to need another glove because otherwise I'm going to get grease everywhere. Right, I'll be back in one sec. Let me change my glove. Okay, glove change. So the old bearings, I'm just going to put in an old little pot. Keep that to one side. Um, so this is the order that I've got it in, as you can see just there. So we're going to put it back in the same order. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said. Um, I do lots of un different unboxing videos, all different types of scooters as well. So when you put the head stem in, just kind of move it back and forth. As you can see at the top there, the bar moves. Just that way the bearings are sitting in place. You can kind of have a look. So there I've lifted it up so there's a bit of a gap. And then you'll kind of feel it slot into place like that, like it has. So we're going to start off with this piece, it going down that way. There we go. And then just want to make sure that's sitting in the seal perfect. There we go. I'm just going to keep my finger there for a minute. And then that little piece of plastic going that way down. There we go. And then this piece going that way down. You can see as well, there is a little bit of a slot there and there. And there is a slot either side. <clears throat> so make sure you line that up. And that will sit down in there like that. And then the last piece, the little piece of plastic that just sits over all of it. There you go, you can see that's nice and snug now. Now we put the handlebar piece, this part, back on. No, we don't, I made a mistake. <laughs> this little screw, we put this screw in first. So have you got any problems with electric scooters? With the Xiaomi M365 or the Pro or the Pro 2 or the Mi 3 or any other type of scooter. If you've got any problems, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you the best way I can. I'm not qualified, but I've spent a lot of time on electric scooters, lots of different ones and um, give that nice and tight. Yeah, I've spent lots of time on different electric scooters and stuff and... <sighs> It's just knowledge over time that I've learned. The more that you um, mess around with these, the more you're going to learn. So that's in now that centre bolt. It looks kind of difficult to actually do this, but if you put everything in a line, it's a lot easier than what you think. Okay, let's screw that up. I've actually lost count of how many repairs I've done on my brother's scooter. Mine, going strong. The only thing I've ever done is just change the brake pads and that is it. <laughs> but he uh, he does treat ease a little bit rough. So he's forever bouncing up and down curbs and riding like a crazy man. And he takes it a lot off road and stuff. So, But I don't mind because... It makes videos for me, and at the same time as making videos for me, obviously it helps you guys out as well. So, um, yeah. And as you can see there, I haven't even got that clip done up, and I'm wobbling it backwards and forwards. And it's just my arms that's moving. 
there's no movement in there at all so that's fixed the problem straight away and yet i haven't even finished yet just make sure when you turn left and right that feels nice and smooth if it gets too tight when you when you turn left and right the handlebars if it feels too stiff then you've done this part up this center bolt what i'm doing up now you've done that up too tight so um that's one way how you can tell okay that's still moving nice and smooth i'm going to keep tightening up the center bolt for a minute Still moves nice and smooth. Sometimes you can keep tightening these and it will forever stay smooth, but sometimes you can tighten them and it does go stiff. So as I said, if it does go stiff, then don't do that center bolt up as much. Do the center bolt up until the point where it gets stiff for turning and then back it off a little bit. That's the best way to do it. Okay, it's a little bit, it's a little bit stiff. I'll back that off just a bit. There you go, now it's smooth again. Okay, so we put the handlebars back up. Let's feel no wobbliness, that's perfect. When you feel no wobbliness, the last part is you always do these two bolts last. And that's Got to tighten those up kind of evenly so I've been using the speed hack on this scooter for two years now and it's still running as good as it was from the day I brought it same goes the M365 Pro 2 been using the speed hack on that since I've got it which has been nearly close to a year now and yet it's still running perfect okay let's feel no wobble at all that was pretty quick going didn't take me too long um yeah very easy when you put all the parts in the line put them like that in a line and then start from this way and work your way to the end to the point where you'll rebuild it again so that's going to be it for this one any comments leave in the comment section below if you have any problems with the um the main head stem as i said i did do a video speed it up on that but i also did another video in normal speed like how we are right now so and the same goes as for tire changes i did that as well we've done loads of different stuff brake pad changes on all different types of scooters and stuff plenty more scooters to come to the channel so keep an eye out don't forget to subscribe drop a like comments leave below we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i am out